Those Extraordinary Twins, by Mark Twain is a captivating and thought-provoking short story that delves into the complexities of human nature, societal expectations, and the consequences of prejudice. Written in Twain's signature style, the narrative weaves together humor, irony, and social commentary to create a multi-layered exploration of the human condition. The story revolves around the arrival of conjoined twins, Luigi and Angelo, in the small town of Dawson's Landing. Their physical connectedness serves as a metaphor for the interconnectedness of the characters and the broader themes explored in the narrative. Twain masterfully uses the twins' unique condition to shed light on the superficial judgments and prejudices prevalent in society. At first glance, the townspeople are quick to dismiss the twins as mere freaks and objects of curiosity. However, as the story unfolds, it becomes evident that the true abnormality lies in the townspeople's narrow-mindedness and their inability to see beyond physical appearances. Twain employs satire to highlight the absurdity of societal norms and the tendency to ostracize those who deviate from the perceived norm. The characterization in Those Extraordinary Twins is a testament to Twain's keen understanding of human psychology. The twins, despite their physical connection, possess distinct personalities. Luigi is depicted as the more intellectual and refined of the two, while Angelo is characterized by his love for physical activities and practical jokes. Through the twins, Twain challenges the notion of homogeneity and emphasizes the importance of recognizing individuality even in those who may seem outwardly different. The narrative takes an unexpected turn with the introduction of Puddenhead Wilson, a lawyer with a keen interest in fingerprinting, a relatively novel concept at the time. The arrival of Wilson marks a shift in the story, as he becomes entangled in a murder mystery that challenges the assumptions and biases of the townspeople. Twain uses this murder plot as a vehicle to expose the hypocrisy and moral ambiguity inherent in the community. The twins, initially viewed as outcasts, play a pivotal role in unraveling the mystery. Twain cleverly turns the societal gaze back onto the townspeople, forcing them to confront their own prejudices. The resolution of the murder case becomes a metaphorical unmasking of the true freaks in the story, those who harbor bigotry and prejudice. The themes of identity and self-discovery are also prominent in the narrative. The twins' journey toward self-acceptance and the realization of their own worth mirrors the broader societal struggle to break free from preconceived notions. Twain suggests that true liberation comes from embracing one's uniqueness and resisting the pressure to conform to societal expectations. The narrative tone in Those Extraordinary Twins oscillates between humor and poignancy. Twain's wit and humor serve as a vehicle for social critique, allowing readers to reflect on the absurdity of the character's behavior. Simultaneously, the story's underlying messages about acceptance and tolerance give the narrative a depth that transcends mere entertainment. In conclusion, Mark Twain's Those Extraordinary Twins stands as a timeless exploration of human nature, societal prejudices, and the quest for individual identity. Through the lens of conjoined twins, Twain challenges readers to question their own biases and rethink the way society judges those who deviate from the norm. The narrative's enduring relevance lies in its ability to provoke self-reflection and inspire a more compassionate and open-minded approach to the diversity of the human experience.